Well, the 15 wing here in Moose Jaw, we're home to two main units, two Central Fly and Train School and 431 Air Demonstration Squad in the Snowbirds. And then in Portage of the Prairie, we also have three Central Fly and Training School. So those two schools comprise the majority of our operations where we focus on any kind of pilot training from ab initio right up through advance prior to the, when they go to other fleets and learn how to fly operationally. Two Canadian Forces Flying Training School is uh, the, the main place where Canadian Air Force pilots learn how to fly. We've been doing that uh, here in Moose Jaw since the 1950s on this base that was built to train pilots during the Second World War. Our uh, main focus here is students that have just finished Phase 1 flying training. They come to us to fly the CT-156 Harvard II. On Phase 2, they will get the bulk of their flying training. At the end of that course, we'll decide whether they're going to proceed on to rotary aircraft, multi-engine aircraft, or stay in the, the fighter and trainer stream. Those who are going to go on to fly fighters stay with us on the Harvard before they go on to future fighter training from there. The Harvard is designed to basically provide jet-like performance, but at a reduced cost. So it replaced the Tudor, which came in during the all flew jet era, and the turboprop engine allows us to provide a similar level of performance, but uh, basically at a reduced operating cost. The phases of pilot training in the RCAF have uh, stayed relatively constant over time. What we call phase one today has historically been called primary flight training. It's where people get their first taste of an airplane. Phase two or basic flying training is where the meat of their learning happens. And then phase three or uh, advanced flying training is where they specialize in the type of aircraft they're going to fly later in their career. Here at 15 Wing, we deliver the NATO Flying Training in Canada program. Over the last 20 years, we've had a number of NATO partners that have come through and trained with us here in Moscow. Other countries have slightly different structures to their pilot training, but the broad strokes are generally similar to what we do here in Canada. We don't necessarily have a typical student. We've seen everything from people who are graduating out of high school at some points in time coming through pilot training. We've had other people starting from second careers and decided they want to change and come into the forces for a new adventure. We see people coming from civilian flying and deciding they want to become either a fighter pilot or a helicopter pilot. We see all different variety of people. And what we're also trying to do with innovating how we bring our people in and train them, we're seeking to find different pathways to get them through the training quicker and recognizing their previous experience. That's both on the pilot training side, but also on the education side as well. Uh, and that's across the Canadian Armed Forces. We try to be very flexible where we can in the recruitment of our folks. Thank you.